it is a very serious case. I, anything that has to do with the public funds, money, we take extremely seriously. And even though this did not occur under our watch, we have a, an obligation and a responsibility to ensure that we safeguard the people's money. And where this is not done, where there is wrongdoing, uh, we have to, um, to, to address it directly. And according to the Auditor General's report, um, they have identified about just about $62,000 that may have been uh, fraudulently um, taken from the program. It could be more, we, we don't know for sure at the moment, but according to the report, it's around $62,000 um, that is on the question. And that report will be forwarded to the Office of the Commissioner to see if any criminal charges can be brought against those persons named in that report? Yes, the, the Auditor General forwarded her um, report to us, to the Ministry uh, last month, um, at the beginning of June. And as soon as we got the report, we reviewed it and we immediately took some, um, some immediate actions. Uh, we have dismissed one person, we have suspended another, and another one has uh, resigned on health reasons and has purportedly left the jurisdiction. Um, in addition to the administrative measures we have taken, we have also, as the Auditor General recommended, reported the matter again to the police, as we had done back in November. And now the matter is being criminally investigated by the police. Um, and so once they come back with evidence that can hold up in court, um, persons or person or persons will likely be charged criminally for, for any wrongdoing that may have occurred under the program.